What's happening, Game Time crew? Welcome back to Game Time with Kyle, man. And today, y'all, we are reviewing the best cars under 100K in Roblox Driving Empire. Yes, y'all heard that correct. The best cars under $100,000. So, up first, y'all, I got the Porsche 911. 2008 Porsche 911, y'all. As y'all can see, it's pretty plain. Nothing fancy about it. I do have it maxed out. And let's check the interior out. Wow, that is a loud car, man. That is a loud freaking whip. So it, it's it's cool. I mean, it's nothing to brag home about to mom that you got a Porsche. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's still a Porsche. So this car is pretty dope, man. But before I, we, we move on to the next ride, and I get too far into today's video, I'm going to need y'all to this is super smash that like button one time for your boy. Hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you're notified whenever I make a post or I go live, baby. All right, now let's continue this car review, guys, because like I said, we are going for the best car under $100,000 because in this game, earning money can be difficult and tiresome. So if y'all want to earn money the right way, you know what I'm saying? You need to come up with the best whip to get them dollar, dollar bills, y'all. All right, uh, let me pull out. Let me pull out the next whip. The next whip that we're gonna be reviewing is the 2020 C8 Corvette. So as y'all can see, I got this neon highlighter green, yellow <laughs> C8 Corvette, guys, and it is it is a very very nice car. Look at the interior. It literally looks just like the C8 Corvette does in real life. Although I've never been in one in real life, but that's they got the console. It's like kind of like a cockpit. You know what I'm saying? Just like a fighter jet. This thing is nice. Mid engine car. So engine is behind the driver's seat. Look at the look at the exhaust pipes, man. Yeah. The only thing is, I did not lower these cars, guys, because I am doing just a simple adding all the adding all the bolts on. So we upgraded to twin turbos. Everything is twin turbocharged today. All wheel drive, so that we have a baseline of which car is is overall the best car for under hundred thousand dollars now this car is higher up there this is like a ninety five thousand dollar car in driving empire so this is on the top of the list so it does cost a little over a hundred thousand dollars once you add all the uh all the upgrades to it so for the next car we're going to be looking at the nissan skyline uh gtr r35 guys so let me go ahead and pull that out and get that parked for you guys all right y'all so this is the nissan skyline gtr r35 this thing is beautiful i think this is the second most expensive car on this hundred thousand dollar under hundred thousand dollar list today so this is probably we're gonna we're gonna review them in this order we're gonna review the porsche first then we're gonna review the the last car which i haven't shown yet i'm gonna show y'all in a second and then after that's gonna be the skyline and then the final car is gonna be the c8 so let me go ahead and pull out the other car that we're gonna review guys and our last car that we are going to be reviewing that's under 100k is the audi r8 r10 i believe this is or the audi r8 v10 not the no i don't know if this is the v10 plus no this is not the v10 plus the v10 plus is like expensive and it's like 200k so we're we're reviewing the basic audi guys so check this out man this is a nice car looks great man I, your boy whenever i get up in this car your boy feel like tony stark young iron man up in this one like i said guys all these cars are fully upgraded with twin turbos all-wheel drive race brakes and the drag engine so first things first y'all let's go ahead and take our porsche over to the drag strip i'm gonna catch y'all there all right y'all first up is the porsche 911 let's see how this car fares everybody keeps telling me the porsche 911 is a banger of a car bro so we got the cheapest porsche that we could get and it's under 100k we're gonna go ahead and see how it fares against the dodge hellcat bro i don't know if it's gonna win because dodge hellcat is meant to go in a straight line but the acceleration on this thing with all-wheel drive twin turbo might just take off, bro. So, I'm going to catch off the finish line. Let's see how this race goes. Ooh, oh, snap. Okay, it's already walking. Look at that thing, bro. The thing is quick. It's got a lot of power. You, did y'all see that, bro? All right. Oh, snap. Whoa, okay. Oh, this is kind of nice. I did not expect that, bro. Eight seconds from a car that's under a hundred thousand, bro. I got cars that are over a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars that run like ten seconds. What? Okay, I'm liking this one, man. Now let's go ahead. And let's try our Audi R8 next and see what it runs, bro. Cause uh, I don't know if the Audi R8 is gonna be able to beat what this Porsche just ran. This thing is kind of quick and it and it kind of handles good too. So I'm gonna go ahead, hop up in the Audi R8 real quick. That car purrs, man. I've actually seen and been in one of these in real life. My uncle owns one, and it's it's a beautiful car, man. One of my favorite cars right here that's like, I, I'm not going to say affordable because, your boy, I can't personally afford it, but it's like a it's like an affordable, like, supercar, guys. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of, it's based off the same car as the Lamborghini, literally. Lamborghini Huracan, that is. <laughs> so, let's go ahead. Let's boogie down this, uh, this raceway, this drag strip. I'm going to catch y'all at the finish line. I have no idea how this is going to perform compared to the Porsche. Let's see what happens. 
Yeah, my boy. You going down. I'm about to dust you. He might actually dust me. I have no idea, but let's get it. Okay, the acceleration on this is not that great. I'm actually losing to a stock Porsche. I'm I'm actually losing to a stock Porsche. There's no way. Guys, this thing ran a 9.9. .9. This is a 10 second car. This is fully maxed out. Holy smokes. Do not buy this car, y'all. At least not for the drag strip purposes. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get into the uh, Nissan Skyline GTR R35. Let's see how that one runs, y'all. All right, y'all. We are in the Nissan Skyline. You can't tell me this car is not sharp. Look at look at that thing, bro. It is mean, menacing. I, okay, so I lowered this one, bro, because y'all already know your boy is a JDM fanboy. I had to lower the Nissan Skyline, bro. I could not. I couldn't leave it at stock ride height. Your boy about that stance life. All right, y'all. Oh, my boy wants to run it back with his Porsche because that Porsche is actually nice, bro. That might be the, the that it's looking so far like at least for drag strip wise that that's the winner, bro. But we still got another car to go, so let's go ahead see how the the porsche compares to the nissan skyline bro wow man i i'm i'm actually really impressed if y'all can get away with that porsche if y'all can afford the porsche man and upgrade it fully you might have a winner on your hand y'all all right my boy i'll catch you later this is all-wheel drive twin turbo charge let's get it okay this one's quick this one is really quick but this is also up there it's higher up on the list costs more money than that porsche y'all but it's still slower than the Porsche. If the Porsche was fully maxed out, he would have dusted me. He would have actually dusted me, guys. Okay. I don't know, man. Even though I was racing against his Porsche, my Porsche is still faster than this car. And it's less money. Holy smokes, y'all. All right, let's pull out the last car that we're running, that we're reviewing that's under 100,000. And that's the C8 Corvette, you guys. Let's see how this runs. Bro, this car is beautiful, man. This car is a beautiful piece of machinery. I can't wait to see how this one uh, goes down the, the drag strip. Hey, whoa, my boy. You all right over there? You just crashed that car, man. Yeah, yeah, he all right, he all right. All right, let's get it, baby. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to win this one. I'm for sure I'm going to win this one, but I do not think that this car is going to be faster than the maxed out Porsche. But I may be wrong. Let's get it. Okay, okay. Oh, this actually got some get up and go, y'all. This might be faster than the maxed out Porsche, but this also costs 8.6. Wow, okay. I don't remember what the Porsche ran, but I'm gonna just say that was a quick, that was quick. But this is at the top of the list, so it's not looking too good for the C8 Corvette, y'all. Let's go ahead and head over to the highway race, man. I'm gonna catch y'all over there. Hey, so it's Porsche versus Porsche, y'all. Yes, y'all heard that correct. Porsche. Porsche versus Porsche. Let's see what the top speed is on this and what we run at the end of the race. I don't know. I think we're going to be at like 60 seconds. Let's get it, baby. Okay, yeah. Bro, this thing is quick. The acceleration on this car is crazy, man. It, go it does go over 200 miles an hour. That's pretty dope. Okay, it looks like we're capping out at 237 miles an hour. So, not the fastest car, but the acceleration, man. Oh, my gosh, guys. And, and it has really great handling, too. All right, let's get it. I'm going to catch y'all at the finish line. Wow. Okay, I ran that three and a half seconds faster than I expected. 56.5 seconds, and I said that we would be down here at 60 seconds. That Porsche is actually pretty good, guys. So far, right now, my money is all on this Porsche, guys. Absolutely. Let's go ahead. Let's pull out the other car, man. I'm going to catch all over there. All right, now it's the Audi's time to shine. I'm pretty sure this has to go faster than 237 miles an hour. I, if it doesn't, this one's getting tossed because it did not beat the Porsche with it being fully maxed on the drag race. So this one's on the bottom of my list, y'all. Do not buy this Audi R8. Although it's a beautiful looking car, the Porsche 911 is cheaper and faster stock and maxed out. So right now we are getting up to, so 241, barely faster than the Porsche, like barely guys. Let's finish this race. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all don't buy this one.
Okay, guys, even though this has a higher top speed, I, I clocked in at 57.7 because the acceleration is just so trash. So don't buy this car, guys. This one's done. We're crossing this one off the list. Let's try the next car. Let's see what the Nissan GTR can uh, can do on this uh, highway race. Now let's see what the Nissan Skyline has to offer, y'all. Right now, man, it better pull a faster lap or it better pull a faster highway time than this than than this Porsche because bruh, I'm feeling a little sus about these cars that I spent all this money on. I bought four different cars to review. And right now, the Porsche is where my money is going. But this thing is actually pretty quick, you guys. But for the, the bank, most bang for your buck, man, it's looking like the Porsche is taking the cake. Right now, we are capping out at 237 miles an hour. It's the same speed as the Porsche, you guys. Same speed. Let's see if, we, if it gets the same time. I'm going to catch y'all at the finish line. No way, guys. 58 seconds flat. Okay, guys, listen, listen. Right now, the Porsche is in the lead. The Porsche is really in the lead. The best car for under 100K. We got one more, y'all. We got one more car. Let's go test this last car out, and that's the 2020 CA Corvette. Let's see what the CA Corvette has to say. I'm going to just tell you right now, guys. I'm calling it. The Porsche 911 is where you want to spend your money at guys if y'all want a good car under 100k from the very beginning of the game because you can make 40 i think it's 45 we'll go to the dealership after the end of this race and we'll and i'll, I'll tell y'all for sure but it's looking like the porsche 911 is where it's gonna be at man so let's go ahead let's get this race i'm gonna catch y'all at the finish line baby i will say the ca corvette sounds so much better than the porsche <laughs> this car sounds great let's go ahead let's get it baby Holy smokes, guys, listen, this finished at 55.4 seconds, so this technically is faster than the Porsche, but man, oh man. You guys want to talk about best bang for your buck? Let's go into the dealership and let's just take a look at how much these cars each cost. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you guys. Let me just do a little breakdown, price breakdown, guys. Look at the Porsche right here. The 2008 Porsche 911, $45,000, guys. Easy. And then let's go to the next one. The next one that we did was the 2009 Audi R8. And this is $65,000, $65,850. Don't get this. Waste of money. You could take that, that $20,000 and invest it in upgrades. Don't do that. Don't, don't buy that car. Trash. <laughs> and then from there, we went to the Nissan Skyline GTR. This is a flex piece. It looks good. It's a dope car. But don't get it either, guys. I'm sorry. It's a waste of money. Look at that. Look at that price point. $94,000. That's almost... Was it 45? That's almost fifty thousand dollars more than the Porsche, and the Porsche did better numbers. And then, last but not least, this one is ninety-five. This is literally fifty thousand dollars and fifty thousand two hundred dollars more than the Porsche. Do not waste your money, guys. Go ahead and pick up this car right here, the Porsche two thousand eight Porsche nine eleven, the forty-five thousand dollar car. It's less than less than half of the hundred thousand dollar budget that we had today. So $45,000, pick that up, fully upgrade it. Y'all gonna win some races. Yeah, you won't beat the supercars, but you'll beat a lot of your friends, man. Hey, thank y'all so much for coming through, rocking with your boy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational. If you guys like this content, be sure to sister super. Smash that like button one time for your boy. Hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you're notified whenever I make a post or I go live, baby. And today's post notification shout out goes to my boy, UV Salaqua Alfred. Hey, big shout outs to you, homie. Thank you so much for hitting that like button, subscribe button, all that good stuff, man. If y'all want a post notification shout out just like this be sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe hit that subscribe button click that notification bell and comment done or that you want to shout out in the comment section below and y'all already know man i got y'all on tomorrow's video thank y'all so much for rocking with your boy i'm gonna catch y'all later man peace